drought condition many of us don't but let me go ahead and cover what I got going on so far okay so this was last week I think that was Sunday okay this line right here dropped 25 inches see that two feet if you recall on my, on my latest video I put a I put a stick where the water line was and uh, look at the intake hose okay I put a new uh, it dropped about maybe three inches so I put a new hose right here where the water right here at this section the water starts going straight down so we'll see what it looks like uh, next week but uh, we can't kid ourselves do you have what it takes to survive in extreme drought conditions no rain. What if you don't have rain for a year? Would you know what to do? I mean, would you be able to get food? Would you be able to grow food? I'm gonna show you, I haven't watered here for, uh, I think two weeks now. And uh, I didn't water the peaches and they're drying up. But notice one thing. The peanuts. Oh, and I still have onions. See that? Tried something new. Tried. Tried leaving food in the ground just to see what would happen. These are some onions I left in the ground. They're pretty good. Notice that these onions are small. It's not. This is organic. Very little fertilizer was put in here. And that's another thing. You're going to need fertilizer. This thing about organic, it takes too much and your and your food is smaller. But look, I really hated to do this. It's starting to die. But you got to conserve your water resources. But check out the peanuts. Two weeks now with no rain. Look how green they are. Look how green the peanut plant is. And look at the seeds right here. Look at that. I got one right here. Let me crack it. Those shells are really, really tight. See, I can't even crack it. Hang on, let me crack it. So this is what peanuts look like. Check it out. Oh, we still recording? Check it out. Peanuts in a drought. Three months, no rain. Okay, I can't eat that right there because uh, I got to, you know, I need to wash it and clean it. You don't want to eat stuff right out of the ground, even though some people say you can. But look at the peanut plant. It's nice and green. And the way I harvested it, you can't break into the soil. It's too tight, too tough. I just poured water on there and I let the water soak in and then I use this uh, use this garden spade to, to lift up the mound let me see if I can lift that up to show you oh yeah look okay uh, I lifted up the mound like that I lifted up the mound like that now look see that let me go ahead and hit it here with the water see that peanuts see that If you know what to do, you could have food under extreme conditions, okay? But uh, stock up on food. Uh, you're not going to be able to grow food in a drought. I mean, it takes too much water. And uh, I think I made a good move cutting the water off to the plants because uh, I think I cut that water off two weeks ago. And uh, look how much it dropped. So this is a rough year. I think this could be seen as an opportunity to grow food. I mean, if you can grow in extreme weather, 
imagine when the weather's good. But one thing I found out, you're gonna need a uh, fertilizer. It's not growing nothing organically. And check this out. Even uh, cantaloupe. Remember, I stopped watering these cantaloupes. And uh, there's one here, um, right here. Oh, that guy survived. It looks like a bird tried eating it though. I'm gonna throw this in the pond. So even these cantaloupes can make it in this heat. Very good to know. But uh, but the main thing is is uh, you know yeah it's gonna be very difficult to grow anything. You got to stock up on food.